Hey team. So in my last video, I was covering the workflow for how we would get to the state of creating API based approval rules. And so we kind of showed how do we get those rules to appear in the merge request approval rules, um, both from a project setting, but also from a merge request setting um, when you're creating a merge request. So I know we're focusing on project, but this video specifically is geared to focus on what happens after those project rules have been created, where do they appear? How is that going to inform our user's decision making? And so we really focused on bullet one. Uh, really all the action is probably happening more within the merge request itself. And so that's what the attempt for this video is, is showing more or less how is this gonna happen and show during the approval of a merge request. So again, like last time, simple Figma prototype here. I'm gonna walk through the different UI conditions that I'm handling um, and hopefully this will help clarify what questions you might have or present opportunities for you to help me refine um, our designs here. So this is very similar to how our existing merge request form is. Uh, typically you would just see this row for view eligible approvers. But what I'm proposing is introducing another container that would, can, would hold all of the approval rules that a project might have added in their settings. So in this instance, I have been queued to know that there is one approval gate that has failed. So I have added an approval rule with an external API uh, and just like how we would encourage users to pay attention here and say, hey, there are two approvals that need for these rulings. There's also one that has failed and that would tell me I wanna look here. And now I can see I have four approval gates that I've set up um, and one of them has failed. And what we would love to be able to give the users the ability to do is the ability to retry and test to see if their endpoint perhaps has resolved itself or uh, maybe it was just finished building. And so to give them that, that opportunity, we we'll allow them to be able to retry and uh, replace ideally that icon with the spinning um, loader uh, just to show that there's something happening in here and disabling the button. Uh, and that way users have some feedback knowing there's something in the system that's happening. Uh, in my happy path, it's going to pass. So the button disappears, there's no need to retry the link. Um, at that point, uh, it's passed. And at this point, my error message as well, telling me that there was one that has failed, has disappeared. So I feel good about it there. And lastly, I would love to be able to still know like what these um, approval gates are tied to. So that's where these icons come into play. They behave similarly to how our avatar icons work, but this, in this case, it just shows the link for the URL. And that's where the prototype ends. Uh, this was the main endpoint for the user uh, for where their journey would end in terms of making the approvals. Uh, I think the biggest concern I have, again, is making sure this isn't impacting users' ability to merge. And I believe what I saw in the MVC criteria is that the, these approval rules should be non-blocking, which in my assumption is that means even if something is failing, they can still approve the merge request. Uh, it's, it's just there for the ability to create uh, visibility into what might be a good way to check other external systems. So yeah, please leave any feedback or comments and talk to you guys again soon.